interesting okay. child that was asked. <laughs> Funny. Just... Interesting child that's getting the right time. The switch pastures, the chalter, the sabbat, the menach. The person said that uh, the marriage was not so ayayay, his wife went off the dead. They got divorced, and she went to California with the Schwarze. We got a phone call from the son there at McDonald's, and um, they're eating uh, burgers. A seven-year-old boy, he wants to know, mommy's forcing me to eat. Should I wash and make a bracha, or not wash and make a bracha? <laughs> Yeah. So, so he asked me in this mamish, this is called, called leading to this week. And this week is Machalta <laughs> Zavata I figured that, so we'll talk about this. There's an interesting madrish that the place can bring that um, has a shaykhaz that connects it to an interesting story. The madrish in Pashas Nasa talks about a soita. Madrish says that a woman came to Rebbe and she says she was Nansa. Was raped. So then she wanted to know if it's muta for her to be married to her husband now. I mean, the din is simple, Lachoida. I guess this was made before the din was established. The din is in the Ksubas that have all of them in base, that if it's chilos of oinus, any time a woman is uh, is uh, oinus, so then the the, the Reise says even that. Uh, that, that even if, if people are running after the person who is attacking them, and now by the time they get up, he's in the middle of attacking, he's in the middle of doing his thing, and she says, don't bother him. If he didn't, uh, if he didn't do this to me, I would pay him to do it. So the din is that we treat it as if she was forced, because we say that once she's already in the middle of the thing, she's already, uh, she has no choice but to enjoy it, because her yetzer is so big, it's impossible for her what kind of punkt, what kind of machine and rape business must be that she's not enjoying it. I don't know exactly how this works. But that's the din. That's the din. Every din in the Gemara is doesn't have to be in every one hundred percent of the case. For that extreme case, the Gemara describes a hey chetimson. I understand that. <laughs> but that's the din the Gemara gives. You'll see it's gonna become relevant to us. It will be relevant. But that's what the Gemara says. The woman says, Don't bother him. I'm enjoying it so much that if uh, if he didn't want to do it, I would pay him to do it. We say no, that she is an anusa. So that's chilosa. But it's called the Gemara calls it chilosa. But oynes v'soif v'berotz. So the Bedrish says a parshas nosa that there was a woman that came to Rabbi Kodesh. Ita saasa l'gabi Rabbi. Amr le nasty. Amr lo v'lo yarech lo. Amr arav loch. Wasn't it sweet to you? The woman said, She said, Rabbi, if a person is going to take his finger, put it in the honey, and force it in your mouth on your kippah, are you going to be happy or not? You're not going to be happy, right? But is it going to taste sweet or bitter? Sweet. Oh, she said, You see? Rabbi said, You're right. You're right. You're mutt to your husband. Okay. So the message is short. Probably what happened was that uh, the question. This was part of the question. So, uh, so, uh, so she argued that the beginning of the relationship was in the way of oynus. So he said that she's muta teraz. So, but we see from this medrash that the poets can say that there's a connection over here between this case, which is a well-established case, that a woman that chilosa the oynus. We say that because the beginning is the oynus, so therefore even at the end it was berotz, we say that, that that's, that's all called oynus, that we connect it to the eating of Yom Kippur. So there's a machloik as a poiske of a person that tabach sick, and, the, and the, he's, the, he must eat on Yom Kippur. Should he make a brach or not make a brach? The machloik is of the ra'ah and the ra'ah. The ra'ah said, it's just like this woman, it's, a, it's, not, it's not considered hanoah. A person would love to sit in shul in the oven, like I mentioned, Yom Kippur, never he has to eat. He's not happy if he has to eat on Yom Kippur. Huh? 
But that's what they all hold. And we pass it the other way. We pass it like the Rajma. And it says, what's the difference? Leboil, Leboil now, now he's, uh, yeah. So there's many, that, that's the bottom one. We pass them if you do make a bro. But the, 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 it says like this. Look at the second paragraph here. So it's not every food that a person is it's tasty. He has some type of medicine, but it's tasty. So you make a baruch at chilu v'soy. So the hagor the ramos says iman zol echol and lishtes. So a person is forced. People force him to eat. People force him to eat, he doesn't make a bracha. So the Mogad Avram asks a question, I don't understand. When it comes to this, why should this be different than the case of Yom Kippur? Uh, Kippur, the, the, the person would love to fast, he's being forced to eat. He's saying, look, he has enough for the food, so he has to make a bracha. So why is this case, when someone's forcing him to eat, different than that case? L'choyed, it should be the same thing. Uh, I'm talking about kosher. I'm not going back to that case. Give me a few minutes, I'll get back to that case. But uh, he says, if the, really in a case that the person was so terrible that the forcing was, he was, he, you know, he wanted, he wanted vomit the food, it was most, so obviously they won't agree there's no bracha. If you eat rocks of sand, there's no bracha. If you eat, if, if a person's nauseous and these potatoes to him taste like sand, because you're not allowed to make a bracha. Doesn't make it. It's not only a din if you eat sand. You eat the delicious food, but you, it's disgusting. You can't make a baruch on it. Obviously, we're talking about a case that, uh, that he is enjoying it. And the child is that he should make a baruch or not make a baruch. So here's the. So why, why is why is it different that you kip it? We make a baruch on the food, and if a person forces you, you don't make. So the Alter Rebbe has a Mordechai answer in the Shulchan Aruch for this question. So the Alter Rebbe answers the question. Look in the next paragraph. Let's read it quick. A person that eats in Kippur eats treif because it's sakona. Because he enjoys the food, he has to make a brocha. In the beginning and after, there is an opinion that also the people, if they're the least, if someone's forcing him to eat or drink, he has to make a brocha. And can have shakots of a lechel when you shayn's and not mal, and the rest of the people come to the design, unless it's repugnant to him. Everyone agrees. But even if he's enjoying, he shouldn't make a brocha just like if he has to eat on Yom Kippur, or if he has to eat today for food for medicine. Yesh emrim, shabori shantzu, listim, eidim avorecha kilos vishniyosim. But he doesn't make a brocha. How can he make a bracha when he doesn't want this? Unbelievable that Al Tarebbe's tenets is simple. He says like this, a person is sick. Now that he's sick, he would rather not be sick. No one likes to be sick. But now that he's sick, is he happy that there's the medicine? Very happy. And Baruch Hashem, sometimes a person is sick, you say, it's a small thing. And uh, maybe a hundred years ago, if the person didn't have such a medicine, he would live Rahman al-Islam miserably for the rest of the life of Hashem died from this tiny medicine. You play, you play, uh, a culture of non- Oh, she got hurt. No good water. No water. No water. So, simple. Al-Tarebbe says, a person is sick, never. 
He doesn't want to be sick. But now that he's sick, that there is a medicine, he's very happy. So if this medicine has a good taste, he can make a broth. Kill the soy. They figure out that this banana juice is gewaldic. It will heal him. So gewaldic, the prune juice is going to heal him. He's very happy now. But a person that, or Yom Kippur, a person who would rather be in shul and be healthy. Now that he's sick, and you have, and, 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 and you're giving him a little bit of orange juice, he's very happy to have the orange juice. Hashem gave this, so he thanks Hashem for creating the banana juice and the apple juice and the orange juice. But Hashem, and a person is being forced by someone to eat, he would rather Hashem never made this food than this table. Otherwise, this, ta- this food was never here. And they, would, could, they couldn't force him. So how can you thank Hashem for producing this food when, he, when he's lying? He's not happy. If he's sick, he's happy they wish to produce the food. He would rather not be sick, but now that he's sick, oh, he has this medicine. He's, thank you, Hashem, for producing the medicine. But a person is being forced to eat by some Mishigana who is forcing him to eat, he would rather the food was not here. If the Abishad didn't produce the food, he'd be much happier. That's the difference that the Alter Rebbe gives. Usually the Alter Rebbe just quotes Poiskin, but here it's like a question, so he has to give an answer. Interesting. This is just very, again, it's very fast. Um, he has to eat. And if he eats, he's going to have the, the taste. This is the sensation of the taste, and that will give him, will allow him to make a broth. Because he's, he's tasting the food. In the situation where he's forced to eat, he doesn't want to eat. He doesn't want, he doesn't want to even enjoy the taste. Well, even if he is enjoying the taste, we say that he's not thank, he can't thank Hashem for the food because the sick person, he would rather not be sick, but now that he's sick, he thanks Hashem for producing the medicine. But this person who's being forced to eat, even if he's enjoying it, but he doesn't want it, how can he thank Hashem for producing the food? He'd rather Hashem did not produce this food. So how can he thank Hashem? So therefore he's not allowed, he can't make a bracha. Now the Rebbe passed himself a bracha, lo'akul not to make the bracha. So here is one point to think about. If this kid is being forced by his mother to eat at McDonald's, it's not a shayla if it's kosher food or not kosher food. The shayla is if he's being forced to eat. This person said also that the... Uh, kid uh, the same conversation said that Shabbos uh, they would take the fa- her family went into a car so he didn't want to go so the Shabbat's boyfriend picked up a stick and we got a few pets until he got into the, to, to the car so it's the, from, the, from, the, from the sound of the question it sounds like uh, there, was, uh, there was brute force going on over here so the Mela that's one part of the Shaila the person being forced al says to eat there is a Machloik al says not to make a Baruch now there's one more point, which is when a person is eating something that's isu. Look in the next paragraph. A person that eats something that's awesome, even the isu is only with the, Ramba, the Mishnah says that a person eats Isser, he can't be part of a Zim. The Ramam says, not only can't be part of a Zim, he can't make a Baracha. If he's eating, if he's eating today food, there's no Baracha. That's not thanking the Mishnah, that's Menaetz. The Mishnah says not to eat uh, burger and cheese, and he's eating it, and he's saying, Baruch Ator! That's, that's, you can't do that. That's the Rambam. The second opinion says not the way. It's interesting that I've been arguing, Shaloy Abnuk, and Elam, and Mitzvah, and Mavedah. It's only when you do a mitzvah through an Aveda. He steals the matzah and eats it. He can't make a brocha. He steals the matzah. He can't make a brocha. He steals the matzah. He can't make a brocha. He steals the matzah. He can't make a brocha. He steals the matzah. He can't make a brocha. He a He a He why? Because he ate garlic. The guy likes eating garlic today. It's not so it's that people don't like it. You like garlic, okay? So, 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 I so garlic he garlic. eat a piece of garlic and he starts talking to his wife and, yeah, and she doesn't like it. It's the best diet, you know what? It's the best diet for you. <laughs> for everybody, <laughs> everybody, everybody looking, looking, they're looking for your fofa, you're looking skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good, very good. So, uh, so the Gemara has an expression: "Misha yoichel shum v'yerechel noide, yachzer v'yoichel shum v'yerechel noide v'yoise." So, so this guy is doing an avodah eating today. We should also steal from the, from Eilam Haza and not make a bracha. 
מיינה גם כן, מה זה בלא ברוך, אבל לימון הוא אל זמן הלא, לפי שאין חמיין את שלשון לסחבר את מחבולה, אבל אין חבולה שאוכל כל מדבר המאסורים, גם הם אין להם קבע שאין קבע וחילו לדבר המאסורים. ואין זה, לאי זה כאין אכילוס פיידה שאין להם קבע לזירה. אינטרסטינג לומדס, דאלט אלב אקספליינס. הזימון means that there's three people eating together, or ten people eating together. When we're having breakfast today in Beis Menachem Mendel, our eating is L'Shem Shemayim, because we're, we're having, we're davening together, we're eating together, we're so therefore, learning we're together. learning together, we are really, we're not ten people eating separately. It's one, it's called a Chabuda, it's one group that is eating together. One unit. It's a one unit. Mela, we make a, a brocha, a zimun, because we're one thing. When people are doing Avedis, they're separate. The middle Rebbe said that when two Yidin get together, it's two nefesh alakis and one nefesh abahamas. So I said the mass, one second. If I did it together with Avi, we're saying that it's two nefesh alakis and one nefesh abahamas. We make lachaim, and we together are both beating up a my yitzhah But he also has a Yetzirah. What happened with that? My bigger. So they say, oh, no, my bigger. It's like this. Right? The Yetzirah is very selfish. So if two, two Nefesh of the Kis are beating up on one Nefesh of Bahamas, his Yetzirah doesn't care. His Yetzirah doesn't care. He's not going to come to the rescue of my Yetzirah. What does he care? His Yetzirah doesn't care. They're beating up on my Yetzirah. His Yetzirah is not. And when I, we start both beating up on his Yetzirah, my Yetzirah doesn't care. He's selfish. What does he care? The Nevesh and the Kis, they care for each other. So when two Yidin get together and make Lechayim, both Nevesh and the Kis got together and they gang up on one Nevesh of Bahamas, they crush that one, and then they gang up on the other Nevesh of Bahamas and they crush the other one. But the Nevesh of Bahamas, each one is selfish, each one's going his own way, they don't care. So that's the way it works. Nevesh and the Kis click together because we all can get together on the Nevesh and the Kis. Nevesh of Bahamas is selfish, I don't care about someone else, Nevesh of Bahamas says. Nevesh Elokis says, I care, what do you mean? What well, goes on by another Yid, I care. So it's, we, when the Nevesh Elokis is active, three Yid and ten Yid become one unit. But when it's only the Nevesh Abahamas, because they're doing Avedis, how can you make a Zimun? They're not three people together. They're three people, they're like three cows grazing. Ten cows are grazing. They're not together. Together is only when you're doing something with Shem Shemayim. It's an un unbelievable shot. It's from the Rang, it's a Din. So, but by bracha, you do have to make... But I have a question. If these yeah. people making a verot cannot make zimun, if you let them make zimun, maybe they will change their mind on the verot to be a mitzvot. We're not talking about bala We're talking right now they're eating in McDonald's. That's what we're talking oh. about. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Okay, so let's go at the end. Linyan Alokhi, the Alta Rebbe says, the last three lines in this paragraph. Linyan Alokhi, Yesh Lachki, Yesh Mochvi, 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 If a person is willingly eating iso, they should, we should follow the second opinion. You shouldn't make a bracha. Mam shech b'sim v'say, the Alta Rebbe continues. But, im ochel iso v'vakum sakona, li b'rakil m'varach alach v'chil v'say. If he's eating in sakona, then for sure you should make a bracha. Sheheter v'oichel mitzvah oisel ha'atz al nafshek. A person's chans b'shol and starving. A person is in a situation, there's no kosher food. If a person's in jail, and they're serving him only ta'atar v'sa chans b'shol. A person somewhere in a place and there is no kosher, and he has to eat uh, tarfus. A person is sick, and he has to eat something which is treif. There's no choice. That's the only thing he could have. So uh, then the person has to make a bracha. Because now the Abish says, that you have to be careful with your health. And because Apidin, you're supposed to take this medicine or this drink and eat this food, the Abish says you're supposed to eat it. So therefore, you're supposed to eat it and make a bracha. Back to this boy, um, if his mother is, uh, if, if it, in, in the Mitzadah in being forced, they're not supposed to make a brach, but Mitzadah Tarfis over here, so I would say it depends. If, if, if it, it, the mother's not forcing him, but that's the only thing she's feeding him, which is Tarfis, so the boy should make a brach, because the person's not supposed to die. The kid is supposed to eat. If she's only feeding him Tarfis, He has no choice. He has to eat and make a bracha. But if she's forcing him, so uh, then uh, then then there's no bracha. The question is, is to make the bracha loud? Maybe another person in, 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 in McDonald's will say, "Oh man, say, <laughs> 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 maybe she should help. There should never be such shyness." Oh, next shy, next shyla. <laughs>
the Jew can probably eat more dog with the yellow card. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what? But if you say bracha, even Jew, not Jew love and eating him, you're gonna hear bracha. הנשמה, <laughs> 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 אז רגע, ביום כיפור, בן אדם חולה, שאמור לקחת אנטיביוטיקה, הוא אומר ברכה על האוכל, הוא חייב לעשות ברכה, הוא גם חייב לאכול, הוא גם חייב לאכול, הוא לא יכול לשכנע את עצמו לצום, כן? הוא חייב לעשות ברכה, הוא חייב לדבר איתם, הוא חייב לדבר איתם, אה? לא, לא, אל תפגוש לי סתם, אל תפגוש לי סתם, אל תפגוש לי סתם, אל תפגוש לי סתם, There was an interesting child in the Sefer of Arev Noah. It says like this. He was asked, there was a younger man who was walking by a, uh, a, uh, a studio. And there was a night. And there was a bar mitzvah. It was a secular family in Israel. And they were doing a bar, a bar mitzvah celebration. It was the night before or the night after. They were taking pictures, father, mother, family. And uh, they wanted to take picture with the boy wearing film. The problem is... Today they go to the court. That's nice, but his family was in the studio. And the problem is that they didn't know how to put on the boy film. And the guy who is the, uh, who is the, the cameraman also didn't know how to put on the film. So the younger man walking past the shop, he says, could you do, come inside a minute? Can you do me a favor? Could you put on the film to the boy? So uh, instinctively... Um, isn't that comparable to all this was after Shkia at night. After Shkia at night. So the one, the person did a favor, he put on the film, then he came home, he was thinking, so what did I do? Lila loves one film. So I, 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 in order for a, a show, to, it's a charade, for a picture, it's in order to be zoying for the film, the middle of, it's not a mitzvah right now, it's a mid at night. So he felt bad and he went to ask Shail about the Rabbi Zilberstein if he did the right thing. Because it was not the mitzvah to film, because it's a night. And it's a charade. It's, it's a mitzvah, it's not a mitzvah, it's not a mitzvah. It's not a mitzvah, it's not a mitzvah. It's not a mitzvah. No, but it was, a, it was like at night. We're not the time of the mitzvah. The night. question was, it was at night. Yeah, I understand. He didn't make a bracha necessarily, but uh, so he said like this. No, I'm saying it's not a mitzvah. So he asked the question to Rav Eliyashu. Rav Eliyashu said, no, he thinks like this. The din is, the din is like this. Let's read inside the Altar of Shekhanor. Now the Rebbe says, "Lila zman tefil no min atoyr." Shezeh shenem v'shmar. This is a quote. This is by the Meir 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 and it's also to sleep in film. From when is Lila? Oh, so from Shkia until the morning, not by Lois Shacha and not by, uh, uh, by Nate, when you could see your friend, there's enough light that you could see a friend Dalad Amas away. That's when you can start putting on film. Now, a person needs to go on the road. In those days, people weren't filmed maybe a whole day. So he, 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 he's going on a, on a, on a, on a, on a donkey. He's going to have a film bag and a lunch bag. He can't, he can't travel that way in a donkey. It's not a car. He has to jump on the donkey and he has to hold the reins on a horse. He wants to put on the film and then go out on the road. He woke up and he's on the road and he's on a horse. He's not going to sleep now. He's not going to fall asleep on his horse. So he's allowed to put it on even at the middle of the night. But if he's riding or sitting in a wagon, if he could fall asleep because he's sitting in a wagon, that's the deal. So said that Aval Yashiv, like this, he said, here, there's no design for the film. Because the family, even though they're secular, why are they putting on the film to take a picture? They want to hang up or have an album that 
to show that their Jewishness. It's not a bizoin, he said. Definitely not a bizoin. But the Lila's loves month film, but they're abonum. Why? Because if you're scared, the person's going to fall asleep. He said, but in this case, in the middle of taking pictures, they're only it's putting it off on this body, they're taking pictures. They're wide awake. They're wide awake. So he said that it wasn't a bad thing, because could be, especially that this kid, Neba, could be, is never going to put on film. I mean, I told you, also the night you're doing the mitzvah. Maybe the spark of religion. Maybe, spark, I, maybe the first time. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And plus, he's going to have a picture. So the Lubyashi said he did the right thing. And he brings over there that. Uh, there's a, in, in the same bit, Ali Meroides, the uh, Agon of Yeshua Arons said that uh, they asked them what to do because in the morning they want to put, they had to film some people. The problem is if they were caught film, one of them they'd be killed. And they were woken up very early in the morning. They were wondering if they wake up extra early, but it's still before this man of film. So he told them they should put on film. If when I told you by night, you're allowed to put on film. LMI, Medera Bona, you're not supposed to put on. Without a bracha. He said they should put on without a bracha. They should put on the film because Menatoida and Berabon, and it's only because maybe you're going to fall asleep. He said, well, no one's we're falling asleep over here when they're waking up a half hour before, uh, what's it called? Uh, here in the. So so the Nazi camps are Khmer Islam. So the Nazi concentration camps. So they'll be from the evening waking up extra early. And he said they should put on film without a brocha. He said, Menatoida yoyo. It's an also that Abonon, it's only a problem, maybe you'll fall asleep. But he says, I know that no one here is falling asleep. When they're waking up an extra half hour early in order to put on film and they're davening with bitter tears, no one's falling back asleep in the, the, in the concentration camps. So Memela, that's what he said, that they should, they should better, instead of putting on a later, being a Sakonon, that the Chas Shalom be put, they should better do it before uh, before this man, when it's still uh, when it's still night and quiet, and they're for sure not going to get caught. So what happened with El Al going to Israel when the middle of the night in America it's morning in Israel, but they're putting everybody together to put together. Uh, once it's in, because it's already in. In Israel it's morning, but well, you just the 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 Once it's dark outside, somewhere yeah. over Europe, can't see anything to their plane. Yeah, you well, gotta, gotta be seat. careful. Yeah, exactly. Get a window seat. One more thing. Today's Pasha, there is, maybe with the time of short Shabbos, if we have time, I'll talk about this a little more. It's an it's unbelievable story. There was a tzaddik that was called uh, Moshe Mikutsi. He wrote a Sefer of Mitzvahs. All the Mitzvahs, just like the Rama, but it was hundreds of years after the Rama. He lived in France. He also, he also, uh, he traveled the Pyrenees, he to Spain. He was, he wrote a sefer, sefer mitzvahs godel. It's called Smag and Short. Mitzvah. Sefer mitzvahs godel. We write all the mitzvahs, all the halachas. Today it's not a popular sefer for people to learn, but it's quoted in all the poiskim all the time. The Beis Yosef, every halacha quotes the Smag. He's considered one of the big, big stars. We don't learn it inside, but this is this is a primary source of all the poiskim. So. He, there is a mitzvah here, mitzvah loita says samach dalit, which is this week's pasha. Unbelievable. He writes like this. He says, I was I was finishing off my sefer, and I went to sleep. And all of a sudden, I saw in a dream, hine shachachta seikah. You wrote a whole sefer with all the tayag mitzvahs, and you forgot the ikah. The, the, the most important, important thing you forgot. Hishamar lacham pentishka ches Hashem alekechem, which is this week's parsha, which is the the chumash of the chitas of tomorrow, which is a hishamar lacham pentishka ches Hashem alekechem. The vilt tishmar mitzvah is the chukais of shanoich mitzvah chayav. Pen toichel v'sabota. You're going to eat. You'll be satisfied. The bottom toichel tivin the mishalta. You'll have houses that are beautiful. You'll sit there in the korcha that's on the yirba. You'll have a lot of cattle. The kesef is on yirba. You have a lot of money. The chol asher lech on yirba. The rov levovka. Person got a couple of dollars in the bank. He feels big. The shachachta Hashem alakecha metziach chameret mitzrayim beis avodim because he thinks that ooh v'marta belovka koichi v'oitzem yodei also is a chayel as a Oh, I'm the very smart fellow, I'm wealthy, I'm successful, because I am really smart. 
אבל זכרת את השם על הכך, כי הוא הנויס הלכה כויח לעס אז חולי. אבל בישראלי זה היה כמו סיקסטיין וואר. אתה זה. לא אתה מייק סאצ'ה מסטייק. אז הוא קם זלון, אין איזה דרים, והם אמרו, וזבננתי לו בבוקר, והנה, זה true, יסוד גודל הוא בעיר השמיים. And he says, even though, even though the Rambam does not, and he follows a lot the Rambam, he says, even though the Rambam didn't count it as one of the mitzvahs, but because they told me in heaven that I should count it as one of the 613 mitzvahs, he puts it as mitzvah samach talu, he counts it as one of the 613 mitzvahs. Two nekudas here, two points. The Rebbe asks, so why did the Rambam not count it? So why did the Rambam not count it? The Rebbe says, because every mitzvah uh, that he does, he is close to the Eish. Every Aveda, he gets disconnected from the Eish. However, we say, Even though in Ayid, it does an Aveda, the Eish is with the Yid. There's only one Aveda that, in the Rechwan al-Atzlan, the Yid gets totally separated from the Eish. And that's Gasa Saruach, when the Yid is Gaiva. The Eish says, called God of Shiesh by Gasa Saruach, I'm not going to borrow anything to who, you're going to bother the Mokamechel. I can't live with him in the same place, a person that has Gaiva. So Gaiva is really tantamount to Avoy Dezora. It, it, it gets totally separated from the Eivishna. Since that Rambam already counted Avoy Dezora, so therefore he but didn't Gaiva count. But Gaiva is a big spectrum. I mean, there's, you know, how do you determine what's Gaiva? Uh, yeah, as I said, that's why maybe we'll leave for Shabbos to talk a little further about this. And one more, just Nakuda about this halochi of a beautiful Yalkat Mamloyas that I found last night. I'm looking for Gishmaka stuff. So uh, I'm, I'm looking and looking at Mamloyas. He says something interesting here. He says, well, why doesn't the person just say, it's short, that Verom Levov, Chav Shachachta, or he say, Kesev, Kol Asher Lecha Yirbe, you're going to have a lot, Verom Levov, Chav Shachachta, a whole thing, הן תויכו בסבותה, בוא נמ תוי וסטיבי ושופטה, וכל חבר צאן חייר ולא כסף עזוב יר מלאכה. וואו, זה כגוי. למה לא תויד עוד פעם אומר, ועוד פעם אתה תהיה אקסטרה אייפון, אקסטרה טאבלט? תויד אסטה לתת כל הדברים האלה. אז הוא אומר, 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 A third of his money should be invested in real estate, a third in business, and a third should be in cash. Just in case he has a great deal, a terrific deal that comes up, <coughs> he's strapped because all his money is already involved in real estate and other business, he should always have a third of his money in uh, liquid. And that's what the Gemara says, Shlish Bekarka, Shlish Beskhoida, Shlish Bemoz. So therefore he says, that, that's what the Torah is saying. And a person is not yet settled, He has a couple of dollars, so it might not be such a big ball guy. But once he followed through what Chazal said, Botim Toibus Tivna Via Shafta, which is real estate. Bekor Chavit Saincha Yirbiu, which is Schoida, Kesev is of Yirbala, which is liquid money. And then all of this is Chayla Shelacha Yirbe, oh, then Verom Levav Chavishachta Sashem Lekacha. Now the person is so well established. The Rachman al-Atzlan, there's a shayach that uh, he'll make the mistake and say, ooh, I'm brilliant, I knew how to invest, I knew how to put everything together, and therefore I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm from the best that I mentioned, that, that I, it, it, it's from my, it's my power, that's my success. I have a question about this guy. You yourself, Gava, okay, I don't know, but the people you do Gava, the people say, oh, you, 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 you don't do anything. Okay, so that's so like every Nassai. It's like every Nassai. It's, it's a big it's problem. like every Nassai. That's why I like Yossi Musk. He never wants to be in camera. He never wants people to say about him. Okay. Quietly. Okay, so we can learn from that. Yeah, we can learn from that. Okay. So that's it. You can't tell them that you mentioned them. You can't tell them that you mentioned them. You can't see them. The Abish should give all of Klaag Yisrael. <laughs> Before, in the few moments before Mashiach comes, the Abisha should give everyone here in Beis Menachem Mendel, Bifrat, everyone sitting here at this table. The Abisha should give the last few minutes of Golos that there should be Toich on the Sabota, and Bonim Toich is Tibna via Shafta, and should be in Tzayncha Bekor Chagir Biyon Kesem Zayn Yibalacha, and in good health. And because we'll have all this, then we'll be able to be Mekayim the Mitzvah properly. 
of saying that who are noisy lachakoyach las lachoyel because we don't have it. How can we build a mitzvah properly? So the Eibusher should give us all this and good health. And then with this, we'll be able to do the mitzvah of saying, Who are noisy lachakoyach las lachoyel?